Policing has come into focus in Atlantic City, specifically at Stockton University. The school received a $700,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Justice to study how specific policing practices impact the community and their attitudes around law enforcement. Things like releasing body camera footage or using a procedural justice script during stops. Well, that study produced some interesting results. I'm joined right now by the lead researcher, Nusret Sahin, who's an assistant professor of criminal justice at Stockton University. <music> professor Sahin, thank you so much for being with us tonight. I want to get a sense from you. Before we talk about the impact that these police practices had on the community, I want to talk about how you conducted this study. Can you just give us a sense of what that process was like? Yes. Uh Thank, uh, first, thanks for having me. Uh, we, con we we partnered with Atlantic City and Pleasantville Police Departments, and uh, we did ride-alongs with police officers. And we trained officers on procedural justice and our protocol, and uh, they delivered uh, our protocol during uh, speeding stops. And uh, we um, uh, asked people who were stopped by the police uh, whether they would be willing to uh, take, a, take a survey, a short survey, and uh, uh, then after that, we analyzed uh, our data. That's how we uh, conducted this study. What is a procedural justice script? What does that sound like? Yeah, procedural justice script is a script developed by uh, uh, researchers, scholars, to enhance citizens' perceptions of the police during traffic stops. So it uh, includes elements of uh, dignity and respect, and also the citizens are given a voice and they, uh, they are given explanations for why the officers uh, stop them. Uh, this is a, a script, uh, um, you know, developed by uh, uh, some other researchers, but we developed uh, our own script uh, uh, by working with the officers in Atlantic City and Pleasantville. And what can you tell me about the kind of training that was required to help officers understand what that script should sound like? Also on the back end, things like releasing body camera footage. How much did you have to work with the department on this? Uh, yes, uh, well, the implementation phase of this project was tw 20 months. Uh, before we start the implementation phase, we gave uh, a two-day training to the officers. Uh, uh, in the first day, they learned about the theoretical uh, foundation of procedural justice and also um, police uh, citizen interactions and also you know improving their interaction skills. Uh, in the second day of the uh, training, we focused on our protocol which is mainly about, you know, uh, what type of information they have to mention to the citizens uh, when they interact with them. And um, after developing this script, we also developed our website. Uh, we have a website where we can track and, and monitor the videos. And also uh, uh, we get the approval from the police departments to release these videos. Uh, the uh, police supervisors have an, uh, uh, an access, a, a login access to our website. And you mean, so, the body, you mean the body camera footage specifically, yes? Yes, yes, the so, body, cam, body cam footage, yes. So what did you find? What did you find in terms of the impact that these practices had on the community, on residents, even as they were being stopped? Yes. Uh, First, we found that, uh, like um, um, people who are working in the in the, in this field, uh, knows that the impact of the body cams are fading out. Uh, citizens uh, uh, are not no longer believe that they have an impact on uh, police citizen interactions or they're making police professional. But by making footage available to them, we have uh, we, we have seen enhanced perceptions of body cams. Now, the people who received our protocol thinks that. Uh, uh, the police is more professional uh, because they're using body cams. In addition to that, we have a higher level of trust to the police in our uh, uh, in the group that received our protocol, as well as they are more likely or, or they are willing to cooperate with the police on uh, solving crime. And also, you know, uh, we have a higher uh, level of cooperation uh, uh, in our uh, experimental group. So what does this tell you about moving forward? Is this something that can be scaled across the state, across the nation? Can it have a major impact? Yes, uh, this may have a major impact uh, because uh, currently uh, the p police training uh, includes uh, directives on, you know, during traffic stops, officers shouldn't be engaging with citizens. And our protocol is saying that if you engage with citizens and if you give them explanations of uh, the reasons for the stops and actually the police is doing 
this uh, to keep the roadway safe, as well as, you know, just making sure that the drivers are safe and also passengers are safe. If they communicate that message, uh, they are more satisfied and uh, this increases their level of trust as well as uh, ob uh, obligation and uh, compliance, because, you know, we also expect that this may be escalate situations. So we are hoping that, you know, this becomes a nationwide uh, practice. Excellent, excellent study, excellent research. Thank you so much for coming on to share it with us. Professor uh, Nusret Sahin, we appreciate your time today. Thanks for having me. Have a good day. Thank you.